Okay, we are going to continue on our statistics section. Today we are talking about mean absolute deviation. Before we watched a video where we talked about quartiles and interquartile range, and that was one way to see how the data is spread out in your data set. So mean absolute deviation is another way to see how your data is spread out in your data set. Basically, you're going to take the mean twice. It's the mean of the distance away from the mean that your data points lie. So it sounds kind of complicated, but it's actually really pretty easy. So here's our data set. We have um, 8, 1, 12, 12, 5, 6, 12, 10, 0, and 8, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 data points. And we are tasked with finding the mean absolute deviation. The first step to finding the mean absolute deviation is going to be to find the mean. So we're going to do that. Finding the sum of all of my data points, I get 74. I have 10 data points. So my mean is 7.4, or 74 divided by 10. Our second step is going to be to find the absolute deviation, or the, sorry, the absolute difference between our mean value and each one of our data points. So this part can um, be a little time consuming, but the math is not hard. Remember, absolute value is always going to be positive. So we're looking to see the distance away from 7.4 that each of our value sets are on a number line. So <clears throat> you're just going to take each one of your numbers in your data set and subtract 7.4. If you end up with a negative number, you just take the absolute value, which is positive. So 8 minus 7.4 gave me 0 0.6. But then here, 1 minus 7.4 actually gave me negative 6.4. But since I'm taking the absolute value, I get positive 6.4. Our next step is going to be to find the mean of all of these differences. So once again, I have to add up all of these data points, all of these just the differences, and then divide by the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 data points that we have. So here is um, my work to add all 10 of my differences and then divide by 10. When I add up all my differences, I get 35.2. When I divide that by 10, then I get 3.52. So our mean absolute deviation, which we often abbreviate to be MAD, is 3 and 52 one hundredths, or 3.52. So let's talk about what that means. Here I have a number line, um, which is basically made into a dot plot. So I have all of my points from my data set. So the 8 is here, then I had another 8, so I've got another dot above the 8, so that I can see where all of my data points are for my 10 data points. Now I'm going to add in where my mean is. Remember we said the mean was 7.4, so that's going to be between the 7 and the 8, almost in the center, but a tiny bit closer to the 7. So we're going to call that 7.4. Sorry, that's a 4. All right, so there's our mean. Now we know our mean absolute deviation is our, um, the average distance that our points are away from that mean. So we said that our mean absolute deviation was 3.52. I'm going to round that to 3.5. So I have three and a half places away from 7.4 to get my mean absolute deviation. So <clears throat> if I came from here and I went to about a half, one, two, oops, three. So now I also want to go the other direction also, right, because... My mean absolute deviation, um, remember that distance could mean, mean either direction. So here I would go one half, one, two, three. So in this case, we can say that our data points are pretty spread out. Considering that our range of data was only 12, right, the, the distance between, oops, sorry about that, distance between 12 and 0 is only 12 points. So the fact that our mean absolute deviation is over 3.5 or 3.5 um, away, so what that tells us is that the average of our data points, the average distance of our data points from the mean is 3.5 away. And if you notice, you should have about half of your data points within one um, 
mean absolute difference away from the mean in either direction, and we do. We have one, two, three, four, five, not included within one mean absolute deviation, and we have one, two, three, four, five that are included in one mean absolute deviation away from the mean.